Yo, this is Eric D. Stop by to tell you about the next saga in my Doodlebug mini bike build. Trying to get it straight, man. Been so busy lately, I finally got some extra time to uh, mess with the hydraulic brakes. Because yeah, I had to get those uh, those wire pull brakes off, you know, they're kind of like the bicycle brakes. Because we're going to be going a little bit faster this time. We need something that's more stopping power. You know, I've been trying to get these uh, hydraulic brakes. We won't mention the name brand because I haven't gotten them yet. Um, two or three different companies, but no one has them right now. I don't know if it's a wildfire or what, but or the corona or something. I don't know what's going on. But I got tired of waiting. So as a last resort, always go to Amazon. <laughs> I swear, Amazon Prime got everything. But anyway, they got four different uh, hydraulic brakes. Uh, well, I should say four of the same hydraulic brakes sold by four different companies. But they're all exactly the same. They're not the prettiest uh, lever, you know what I'm saying? They got these parking brake uh, pin and spring on top. It kind of looks kind of odd to me. But hey, they work. The hardest part is going to be trying to fab them on there. And just, it takes you just plan for a whole day of moving things around, shifting stuff around, and trying to get the fitment right. But if you go on Amazon, they got a, a Goo Fit brand, uh, a CNC Moto K brand, but they're all the same. I think it's one company making them, four different people selling them. But the best part about it, man, they're coming like, I think I got them in two or three days. It, it was prime, it was definitely almost overnight almost. If I had got the ones I wanted, it probably would take about two weeks. But these will work for right now anyway. And uh, of course, I couldn't find a bracket close to it, so I had to fab up a bracket. So when you're using these, if you don't have a bracket, just plan for a whole day of just fabbing, cutting, and pasting, and mocking up, uh, clamping. You're going to be doing all that all day just to line it up because uh, it's not much space in between the brick. Disc brake and you know the frame and the wheel, especially on these dual box, they're tight. That's probably that's why that's why I, I stretched it. I don't know if y'all remember. Uh, check out my other uh, videos. I ended up stretching the frame on this one and widening. I widened the, fr widened the frame by almost three inches just so I could use a wider tire. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, just mocking up, it takes most of the time. It took me all day to get this kind of fabulous bracket up and get it on there. But I think I got it where I want it. So I think this will work out right here. So, um, just take a look at it and maybe give you some ideas on your build. So, I definitely uh, wanted to set it up for a wider tire and stuff so I give myself a lot of room in case, because um, I got a slick, I got a skinnier slick, but I wanted a street tire, a wider street tire. So, I had to stretch everything out. I wanted to use this 16 by 6.5 by 8 rim and tire setup. So, I mean, this is like monster for the doodle bug. But I got, you know, I widened the frame out, like I said, and was able to get it in there and get it done. So, check it out. 